my question is kind of open, so I don't know if anyone can answer. So my main question is, how do you control quality before the panels go up on the roof? What I have been studying and I have been tracking a lot of people, what I've heard is, like, you know, you order a panel of certain quality and something else, I'm not saying very worse, but something else is delivered on the side and the panel quality is not as good. So how, as an EPC developer, how do we control that? Because we are on the same team and I, since I'm new and you guys are very experienced and seasoned, I would like to know. EPC first comes is which model to buy. So you really need to specify specs, what you really want to buy, 320, 325. That decision you have to take on behalf of your customer. That is the stage number one. Stage number two, you should ask for EN testing at three levels because micro crack is something which can create a problem. So inline EN testing, uh, post uh, uh, flash test EN testing, that is something report you should ask for. And you analyze those reports, is there any micro crack, power output is right or wrong. So after that, major challenge starts. Until then, this is a very structured. We know that what could be the wrong and you could control. Transportation, during a transportation, major chances of micro crack is possibility. So this is something which you really need to understand that whenever you transport or whichever mode you use, ensure that it's well packed and it's not micro crack because while supplying, manufacturer has given you a certificate saying that there is no cracks and there's an x-ray report he has given it to you. But ownership starts from there, yours. After, even a, during installation, you really need to take care of micro crack to not happen or people, people put on their head, right, this way. So you will have one, one patch will having a micro crack and hot spots will occur. So install, during an installation, you really need to, you yourself has to ensure or make a SOP, these are the things I will observe during the installation and these things I will do's and don'ts of handling the uh, solar panel, that is very important. And people normally miss their, yeah, chill. Another thing, you know, uh, rooftop people see that it is all about modular inverter. Just another point, you know, being a TLD and a power system guy myself, you know, take care of the lightning arrester even here. What structure are you using? It is, I understand the, uh, the bill of material, the major components are the modules and the inverters. A small point like a surge arrester here, what quality are you using? Are you using the right standard? Rohitji had pointed a beautiful point that the standards that what you are using. So I think uh, you have to look at a very holistic point of view. Don't only look at module mein hai, liya, inverter liya, to at a total system because you are selling a system to the end consumer. You are not selling one product. He might sell a product to you, inverter might say, come to you and you have to go a system. So be very careful on the INC, small items like structures, lighting arresters, surge, part, be very careful on that because ultimately you know you are solving a problem to the end consumer. So that uh, to just wrap up on the ECDC and yeah. Uh, you pointed out on the uh, re-engineering and innovation on uh, the BOS front. Now uh, currently we all know what are the you know commercially what is solar going down to on the rooftop front as well. Uh, modules, inverters maybe the prices have come down. On the structure front uh, especially I'll say is since last year the metal prices itself have gone up easily by 20 percent uh, purely because of uh, China's impact over the global market. So uh, aluminium structures on, on industries I'll, I'll say very specifically the prices may go up you know this year as well because of uh, the over growing demand in China as well. So how do we counteract over here I mean quality is I hope uh, that is one thing where nobody no EPC would like to compromise but uh, when these prices are sort of going up where the structure manufacturer also does not have any control then how do we counter at this? Re-engineering is one way but is there any financial model developed by EPCs that may counter it? That is what I would like to know. You know, duty being levied on imported steel, steel prices have gone up. So uh, for uh, steel structure prices have, uh, there is an upward, uh, you know, but uh, I think that has to be factored in because uh, the, the structure has to withstand uh, the, the location. Uh, what could be done is, uh, you know, sometimes uh, people tend to over specify a structure. There is an IS chart available for wind speeds 
for almost all the locations in the country. Say, uh, for example, if it is Karnataka, if you have to design a structure in Bangalore, you need not design it for 170 kilometers, which is required right here in north in Punjab, because the IS map has different wind speeds for different regions. So one has to be very specific while designing. But uh, there is no way quality could be compromised because any storm or anything, it has happened in ground mounted, it has happened with some of the well organized uh, EPCs also that they are having episodes of structures caving in and uh, which has been reported by media as well. So structure is the vertebral column of a solar PV system, you know, while inverter is the heart and PV module I would call is the liver. But vertebral column is mounting structure, so you, you can't play with vertical column. So don't worry. Seven years, I have only seen a downward, downward and downward trend. Uh, that doesn't mean that you stop your decision and wait. Somebody said, like I will, in the same room, I will do now 700 uh, kilowatt. If final prices goes up, I can do one gigawatt. You don't have to wait for that because your savings starts from now. So final prices are expected to go further down, not because of uh, prices going down demand. The technology also improving, which you have already said that the panel which used to give 230, today we are getting the same panel 270 with the same cost. So cost of panel is expected to drop further. Is any, any, bottom, any bottom line? Well, very difficult, very difficult. We'll catch up. Every it. time I say this is the bottom line and I see the next bottom, it is just like a reverse tariff, okay? Somebody say, oh, wow, 287 is now bottom and you'll see another uh, drop, okay? So next week, uh, probably you'll see another tariff down, okay? Uh, I would just like to share one thing that since you people are working with the technology, so it's your responsibility major responsibility to educate the people also about the technology because you people know that what kind of technology is available like this fellow was talking about the grid tie or grid interactive or string inverters which kind of inverter or which kind of panel should be used like if when you select the uh, solar module the buyer does not understand the quality of that uh, module you can just go through the custom website and find that which company is buying A grade cells, importing A grade cells, and which company is importing B grade cells? There are very few companies in the country those who are uh, importing A grade cells. So, definitely their cost would be different. A buyer cannot understand that the EVA sheet, the back sheet, or the junction box, or even the ribbon, the string ribbon. It's a surprise that the string ribbon and uh, the cost of that varies from 50% to 100% in the market. So it is our responsibility to educate the buyer also that if I am offering this price, why I am offering this? Somebody goes and says that he is offering 4, 4 crore per megawatt, I can give you it 3.8 So that is our responsibility also. Thank you. Thank you very much sir. I think uh, the point is very good that uh, when you're buying a module, you have to understand the importance of things that are going in the cell, the back sheet, EVA, the frame. Obviously, the manufacturer, the kind of production lines he's using, how uh, good it is. All the production lines have said that since the prices of modules are falling, why don't we install it next year? It would be more cheaper. How do we smartly answer that question? What is a good answer to that? It's still training happening, right? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I think uh, I think we, jo humne commitment ki thi, we wanted a very interactive session. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, just to wrap up very quickly, and then you know, uh, sort of Anand can take it ahead. Uh, let's be very optimistic. You know, uh, as Sir respected Shukla ji pointed out in the morning, from 1948 to today, we've come a huge way, 300 gigawatt. Let's be all optimistic, and let's all focus on nation building and create a sustainable ecosystem for a future generation. Thank you all very much for your time and patience and Anand will take it forward. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for uh, spending your valuable time and enlightening uh, the, the industry and the audience. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to request uh, Mr. Samapreet to present a uh, memento of appreciation to all the panelists, please.